Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here. And in this video, we're going to have tips and tricks for Retribution Paladins who are trying to do delves solo. Now, I do think that there's a much bigger issue right now where maybe everybody could use a video like this regardless of your class. However, I don't have time to do like a detailed guide right now on delves. So this is gonna be tips and tricks for spe specifically Rep Paladins. If you're different, spec or class or whatever you can try to take something from this especially some of the early stuff we're going to talk about um but yeah you, you're going this is going to be specifically for rat for now at least uh to help you solo these delves because some people are having trouble with like the tier 8 delves the tier 8 bountiful delves and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started now uh first things first tier 8 delves are equivalent to like end heroic level loot okay so especially what you get from the vault right so these these are meant to be a little bit difficult once you get the tier 8 tier 8 means you're doing like heroic content heroic raid content that you're doing early mythic plus content so if you don't normally do that content it's going to be a little hard for you and you're going to have to maybe work your way up to it you might have to do delves on six over and over and over until you can do seven seven over and over and over before you can do eight eight over and over and over before you can do bountiful stuff like that and then, of course, there's higher levels after that if you just want to go for the challenge. Uh, I think it's important to remember that this is solo content, but it's not meant to just be easy content. Um, and so that that's something is a mindset, right? You can't just come in here thinking, oh, I'm going to one shot it. Well, I'm never going to die. Guess what? I'm a mythic raider and I have completely failed out of a delve and that's fine, right? It's not a big deal. It's, it's nothing to get upset about or anything like that. Um, why did I in particular? Well, there was one mini boss that I really wanted to kill and he kept killing me. And I was trying to like figure out a way to defeat the challenge and I ended up just dying uh, five times. So, you know, it can happen to anybody and that's fine. So that, that's the first thing is to have the mindset correct, in my opinion, for this. As you're getting up to higher level and you're getting the higher level loot, it's going to be a bit of a challenge and that should be fun. Another thing to keep in mind, and this is something I'm seeing in Mythic Dungeons as well. Is there's no timer on these there's a death penalty there's deaths right but there's no timer uh so and i'm seeing this in mythic zero as well where people are not uh, sure like when to use cooldowns and stuff like that and i'll give you a really big hint when there's no timer on something on anything you're doing so like a boss fight in a raid has a timer right because there's an enrage timer you got to do meet certain checks stuff like that so there is technically a timer um whereas in mythic zero and in uh, these delves, there's no timer. So when do you use your cooldowns? You use them all the time. And this is something I'm seeing in Mythic Zero even with some groups that are struggling, maybe some players that aren't maybe used to doing that content uh, or maybe just players that are confused, but you want to use your cooldowns. So as a rep paladin, use your bubble, use your bop. And I definitely encourage you taking bop. Use your lay on hands, rotate through your shield of vengeance and your uh, divine protection constantly. They have a low cooldown. Obviously, use your Wake of Ashes slash Wings on every single pull. This is this is just it's just going to make it so much easier for you. Holding stuff or anything is just silly. If there's a hard pull in the so let's say you're a mage even right. If there's a hard pull in the middle of the thing for you because there's too many mobs and they do too much damage and one of them can't be rooted or something like that, um, use your time warp. Okay, you might be like, well, what if it's not up for the last boss? Well, then you just wait. 60 seconds or however long you have to wait until it comes back up and use it for the last boss or if you have deaths you try it without time warp die once and then do it again with time warp and hopefully you know succeed right use your cooldowns i i'm seeing that like i said i'm seeing this in mythic zero too people are trying to be stingy with their cooldowns like running a mythic zero and not using bloodlust until the final boss that's just just use it on the first big pole the first boss use it when it's up again and then if you need it for the last boss, then that means you'll die. And then it'll, by the time you all run back, it'll probably be up and ready to go again. Uh, and so th that's just that's just another big tip that anybody can use. OK, so mindset, use your cooldowns. OK, now let's get into some specific ret stuff. OK, uh, so for ret, one big question is what talents should I use as ret to do these delves on solo? And there's a lot of options here. There's no correct answer as far as like, because it's going to be, it's going to be pole to pole. Some talents are going to be easier for the final boss. Some talents are going to be easier for the final, uh, uh, for a big pull and stuff like that. And what I like 
is to use this kind of build right here. So what we're going to see here, so the Paladin side is just going to be kind of normal Paladin stuff. If you want to know rotational stuff, if you want to know what each what the talents do a little bit more, uh, I have a Rep Paladin guide for Season 1, and you can just check that out. Uh, that'll get more detail on this. Uh, you can just go to the talent section or whatever on that. But what I like to do is a Herald of the Sun, and it's kind of a single target build. And uh, and that this is mostly because of the last boss. The last boss is the hardest thing for me. It takes a long time to kill, even with decent gear. But I have a little bit of cleave mixed in as well. And a little bit of cleave is basically swapping out Empyrean Legacy for Tempest of the Lightbringer. And then swapping out Vanguard's Momentum for Blessed Champion. So my um, Judgment also cleaves. So this is kind of the build that I like to use right now in Delves. But you could play Templar in Delves. You could play Herald of the Sun with a completely AoE build in Delves. You could go like what I suggest as my AoE Mythic Plus build in the in the guide we I just talked about. Uh, you could use that in Delves instead and take a little bit longer on the final boss, but maybe have a lot easier time with the trash. And that that should be what you're kind of basing what you're playing around. Templar also offers a uh, shield when you uh, when you use your hammer of light or whatever so it's a little bit more defensive it also offers you the steed which gives you a little bit more horse time and kiting can be a very important thing in these delves especially if you're waiting for a cooldown or something right you can kite around so that gives you extra horse time that can be very valuable so templar is very playable here as well and there's no right answer. What you need to do is you need to tailor your talents around especially what you're struggling with. And that could be delve to delve. One delve, it could be the final boss and you need more single target. A different delve, it could be this pull. Or uh, in in uh, the one mind delve in, in Dornagal, um, this one down here, uh, Earthcrawl Mines. There's a version of that delve where you have... Uh, where you have a waves of stuff coming at you, right? And that can be hard for some people because it's just constant waves coming at you. So for that, if that's really your struggle, then you want to go to more AOE build, okay? And so th that's kind of what you're what you're thinking about when you're going into a delve is what what am I going to struggle with this in this in this delve? And it's also worth noting this isn't Mythic Plus. You can just change your talents in the delve, right? I can just change my talents right now. It doesn't matter. So you could literally swap between poles while you wait for your cooldowns or whatever you could swap um or wait for your trinkets or something right because you, you can't change some talents while they're on cooldown but you could you can literally do that and so um yeah keep that stuff in mind right it's, it's just do what's best for you do what's easiest for you when it comes to talents we mentioned using cooldowns already and i, I kind of talked about the kiting thing but let's say i'm getting my butt kicked by a pole right uh, and let's go ahead and just grab this and go in here. So let's say I'm just getting my butt kicked by a pole, you know, and I have like eight seconds left on my divine shield. Well, I could just run around on my horse for eight seconds. I can line a sight behind a pillar. If there's casters, you know, there's a million different things you can do as a rep paladin. Uh, it's actually very, or as a paladin in general, what's really, really helpful is that there are, uh, the, one of the biggest things right now is actually just the auto attack damage by mobs. And so so let's just pull this elite mob. He's going to hit really, really hard. So I'm going to actually just reuse my shield of vengeance here. And we're just going to go. Now my shield dropped. So now I'm just going to swap to divine protection. Just going to pre-use it. It's kind of a waste because he's doing a fire ability. And look, I'm kind of playing at ranged here, right? I don't, I don't even want to take an auto attack if I don't have to. And now I have I have pretty good gear. I'm not saying you're going to be able to kill it that fast. Uh, Bran will also execute. Also use Bran's traps on the ground. These do a ton of damage. I think they even stun lower uh, enemies. So you can keep that in mind as well. I haven't done this delve in a while. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. I wanted to show you some combat stuff. Um, I wonder if the candle responds like the waterworks one responds. Let's see. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So... Keep, in, keep kiting in mind. As you saw, I was kind of playing at a little bit range there. Why? Because I don't want to just take a big auto attack to the face. Another thing, another tip. Uh, watch your health, okay? So if you're not used to doing harder content, the very first thing we talked about is this is harder content. 
if you're not used to doing harder content, you might not watch your health bar very much. Mine's way up here. Maybe you want yours a little bit more central position, but make sure you're watching your health. And so you understand that you just took a big melee hit, right? Or you, you chunked from full health to half health or something, right? Make sure you're watching that. Um, also, if you do do the content, if you do do heroic or even mythic raiding, there's mythic raiders who don't watch their health. They just assume healers are going to heal them, right? Um, and so if you're doing the solo, you don't have a healer to heal you. So you need to watch your health. I mean, it's, it sounds simple, but if I get chunked down, the first thing I'm doing is I'm either pressing a defensive like shield or divine protection. If I don't have either of those up, I might just be kiting away for a little bit while I figure out what the heck just hit me. If it's a cast, you need to use your interrupt. You can, you, you can stun many mobs in here. The, the mini bosses and the bosses you can't really stun, but a lot of the mobs themselves, you can stun them. You can run for Mythic Plus, you could like similar to Mythic Plus, like you can run blinding light, blinding light everything and run away and heal yourself with even flash of light. Uh, word, of, word of glory is your friend uh, when it comes to this as well. Uh, you might have to word of glory a lot. What, one strategy that I found on the final bosses, which take me a little bit longer, even in good gear, is on the final bosses, a lot of times I'm doing most of my damage through my builders instead of my spenders, and I'm just word of glorying myself. So what I mean by that is I'm judgment, blade, hammer of wrath, and then word of glorying, doing it again, word of glorying, waiting for my cooldowns to come back up, like wake of ashes, execution sentence, divine toll. I'm using those still normally, still trying to do rotation properly, but instead of spending, unless I'm at full health or I'm at like 80, 90% health, I'm word of glorying myself. And it makes the fight take longer, but it also kind of ensures that I'm not gonna die. And then when I'm at 100% health, you know, I go full on on damage. Or if the boss is doing a, like we just saw that elite do a, a mechanic where he just stood still and shot fire. Well, that's a great time to stand behind him and just DPS your heart out, right? That's a good time to use a trinket. It's a good time to do all those kind of things. Um, on use damage trinkets are really good. So I have this orator's larynx thing. This is a very good uh, trinket to use because it just does damage. Whereas my other trinket, Skarmac Shard, this one is not as good of a trinket to use in this case, like if you're struggling, right? It's a very good trinket. But if you're struggling, you might want a trinket that just does damage when you press it, right? You press the trinket, it does a million damage to your enemy, right? That can be very good for these delves, okay? It's also worth noting that on these tier eight delves, so I'm at 605, probably many of you are somewhere around 600. Maybe some of you are even at 590 and trying to do this. The recommended item level is like 600, I believe, for these tier eight delves. Well, eventually just from doing delves, you'll get up to like 610 plus eye level, right? And that will make them easier as well. You're doing these in the lowest gear. So if you're not used to doing content at low idol levels you're used to over gearing your content that's another reason why you're struggling right now and that's okay it's just the beginning of a thing i know delves were kind of like talked about in a certain way and covered in a certain way not by me but by some other content creators and stuff saying oh they're so easy they're so easy oh they're so easy well because on beta especially if you were doing them on a group you could just face roll it and even now before they got buffed for groups group settings if you were in a full group, you just face rolled through it, didn't do any mechanics. But solo, it's never been that way. Just for the record, on beta, it's never been super easy to do these, especially as a rep paladin. On beta, I couldn't do the tier 11 delve on beta, uh, even with full tier set, full enchants, everything. I couldn't do it. I was just getting one shot by mobs, right? And my, my, my eye level was similar to what it is now, but tier 11, it's hard. Like tier 11, man, you need like 610, 615, 620 item level to do that uh, consistently, right? Without a group. Now groups can make up for things even if it's harder by having different cooldowns, different things to use, different uh, more CC, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I, I, I just, I see a lot of people, I don't, like I said, I don't have enough time to like just make a full on guide for like each delve or for everybody, for every class. Right now, hopefully I can. But I see a lot of people struggling with delves right now. I see a lot of people talking about it. Delves are too hard. Delves are too hard. And you can get through these things. Uh, one last point, and we'll finish this off, is let Brand do some damage. So let's go. Let's go pull something. Brand could do damage too. So let's say you have no cooldowns up. Let's say you're playing like one minute. Uh, you're not playing Radiant Glory because you just don't like Radiant Glory, and you're just doing delves. So Radiant Glory is this talent down here, 
And what it does is it turns your wake of ashes into your wings. Let's say you hate that, so you're not playing it in your delves. Okay, so here's something you can do. You can just hit these mobs, and now let Bran do some work. I'm waiting for my cooldowns. Go ahead, Bran. So Bran just took aggro. He already has him half health. I'm not taking any damage. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Oh, here comes some ads from that. I'm going to hide behind the pillar. I'm running around the pillar. Don't mind me. I'll Divine Storm as I come around just for the fun of it. Still hasn't really taken any damage. I took a little hit there. All right, got my Sun's Avatar up. I just lost my candle, so I am going to go back for that. But look, Bran just finished everything off. So I didn't even have to do anything. I took, what, 10% of my damage? 10% of my health is damage. Let Bran do some of these easy pulls for you. Especially as he levels up, he does more and more damage. He's he's really powerful. And that's he's this he's meant to be that for you in these delts. That's how they're designed. So if I didn't have any cooldowns, obviously if I had cooldowns up, I could just go in and just kill those things really quick. I could Wake of Ashes, Divine Storm, Divine Toll, kill them all really, really quick. That was an easy pull. But you can let Bran do the easy pull too while you're waiting for your cooldowns to come up. And you don't have to just sit there and do nothing, right? So... That's going to be my last tip for this one. I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I do hope to do a more detailed guide for these. I, if I could, if I honestly have time, I would do a guide for each delve itself. I would do a guide for each dungeon itself. And maybe I'll have time to do some of that. Maybe I won't. But I do see people struggling with this. And I just want to help out. If you have questions, you can ask them below and I can try to help you out um, if I have time to do so. Um, but yeah, th that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope this helps you out. Uh, as always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. If you are a rep player, go check out the rep Retribution Paladin Guide. It'll help you out as far as rotational stuff and stuff like that. Um, if you're already subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to check out the Patreon. And other than that, everybody, have a good one.